This here is my 2021 Volkswagen Jetta Mark 7, the 1.4 turbo, and it is the standard version. And as some of you might know, it comes with very lackluster speakers that are just tinny and they are just not that great. So today I'm going to try to upgrade the speakers in this car. Um, here are the tools that I got for this job, and I will put uh, a link in the description. There's some panel removal tools. There's a connector, so hopefully you don't have to splice any cables. Some spacing rings. I also decided to get some baffle cones, and those are the speakers that I've picked out. Now keep in mind, I'm really just going to replace the speakers. I'm not going to put in um, an amp or a subwoofer or change out the head unit. So let's see how this goes. All right, now that the door panel is off, the speakers look like this. They are riveted in. Um, they're 6.5 inches, and um, we're going to drill the rivets out to get the speaker out of here. All right. Okay, once the rivets are out, um, you can pull out the connector here, and that's just two little lips. And that's your connector and then you can pull up the speaker it's glued there you go so what you're left with is the rivets here which we will drill out um, separately as well to get to the holes here all right I just put the padding in here um, on the opposite side of the door and now as the next step we're going to put the spacer ring on here just using the holes where we drilled out uh, the rivets now what we're going to do is we're going to use a rivet gun but uh, honestly I think it might be better if you just get screws that go through the holes and attach the uh, spacer ring that way instead of using the rivet gun because we are running in some issues that uh, it's tough to find the right size but uh, since the rivet gun is what we have and we don't have the right screws, this is what we have to work with and this is how we're going to um, get that one on for now. So that's the next step. Alright, here goes the riveting gun. And you will probably see shortly why I would recommend to use screws instead of riveting it in. Also, obviously, it's crucial to have your window up, uh, especially when you drill out the rivet so you don't accidentally damage the glass. How did that work perfect? Just for YouTube. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, three more. And then we see you at the next step. Alright, so here's something to note. Um, those are the factory speakers and you can see that the connector is on the outside because this is how it was sitting on the frame. Now the new ones that I ordered have the connector uh, here on the back. So when they go in, the cable will have to come out through the door somehow. And um, we found a way to do that with the baffle cone. And I'm going to show that next. All right, so here we have the cones of baffle. And um, we're going to feed the cable through one of those holes because we will only need four to actually attach it uh, to the frame. So this is the front. Feed them through to the back. Yep. The back side here we will fold over so that we only need half of the space. There you go. And then the speaker pretty much goes in like this and we just connect it. This will be the inside of the car, and this way you have the connector that you can then use in the door. Okay, we now got the speaker set in the baffle cone here. That's the way it looks. And now we have four holes here. And this is how we're going to line the speaker up. And we're going to use the screws that came with the speakers. Put them there and just screw that in. And that'll be the next step.
All right, now we got the speaker in. Got it connected, just did a sound test and it works. Can't do that though for YouTube because otherwise copyright infringement. And uh, I have a little padding here and we're going to, to wrap the connector in this padding so that it doesn't end up rattling in the door. So that'll be the next step. And we're just going to wrap this with uh, some electrical tape. So those are the last steps. Now we're just uh, taping that piece to the door a little bit so that it's not like in the way when we pop the panel back on. And uh, that will be the last, last step. Putting the door panel back on according to the other video. And um, this will be all set. All right, so that was that. To give you an idea, that was about several days of researching. Just keeping my fingers crossed. The first site took us about five hours, including two trips to the hardware store. And the second side where we just took the video was about 20 minutes. So if you do it right, it will be a fast jump. Otherwise, it'll take a long time. And now I think uh, I'll take it through a wash. How about that?